Hi all, in this video, let's learn about how to get notified when an element is added or removed from the DOM. The easiest way to see the changes or watch the changes in the DOM is by using the mutation observer API. So let's see about that. So first thing is like, let's, this is what we are talking about, mutation observer. So let's create an instance for this. I'm creating an instance. I'm calling this as an observer equal to new mutation observer. So it takes a callback function. So let's write this callback function in a while. So this is what the first thing. We are now creating an observer instance to this mutation observer API. So next thing what we need to do is we need to take this instance dot observe. So there is a method called observe. Now you need to give two parameters to this. What is the target node to which I need to listen for to listen for the changes or to which I need to observe the changes. The first thing is a target node and the second thing is like configuration. There will be like a configuration object. We need to provide some properties to that. So this is a syntax. So let me copy this once again. So let's do that. Okay. Now the target node here I am giving the target node as document dot body. So it means entire to the body, whatever the item uh, is added or whatever the item is deleted. I want to observe that. I want to get notified that information. So for this, the target node I'm giving as document.body. So if in your case, if you want to give that for a single div, okay, for example, if you have a div, okay, and only want to know the addition or uh, removing of the elements to this div. So give an ID to this div and mention that ID name here. So it means the target node to which it needs to observe. That is what here we need to give. Here we are giving entire body and now config. So let's define the config object. What are the properties we need to give in the config object? So let me give this a config object. Okay, now let's write the properties. So the first property is like subtree. So I'm giving this as a subtree property. So to this subtree, what does it mean? So subtree true. It means we are saying that observe the entire subtree of the target node so if you it means it will observe all the changes that will occur in entire this document dot body and next here like this you will be having a couple of values so we'll learn like attributes through so it means all the changes all the if there are any attributes and the values to that attributes are modified then you are asking that to observe those attribute values modifications as well so like this, you can give whatever the configuration changes you want to observe in your target node. So all things you can give. So let me give one more child list as well. So I'm giving all these three properties. So now this object we have provided here. Now what we have did, we have created an instance for the mutation observer and we are calling observe. It means with this observe method, it will start observing this target node and what on this configuration so when entire any of the element is added or removed attributes values are added or removed all these configurations it would be maintained as a second parameter fine so this is the one thing so now let's write the callback function so let me write the callback function constant callback so i'm writing a constant callback function i'm writing an arrow function here so this is a callback function so now whenever a change was observed so this callback function would be executed. This is what we are writing. Now to this callback function, what would be triggered is a mutation list. So all the changes will be listed. Okay, I'm naming that as a mutation list. So now all the changes in this document would be available in this mutation list. So we can iterate over each and everything. So let me write this constant mutation of mutation list. It means we are iterating over each and every change that was happened to the target node. So first thing is this, and now let, let's write the conditions. Mutation, so it means for each and every mutation, mutation dot type. If the type is equal to chain list, okay, it means we have added or removed any of the element, any of the children node. Let me console that, log console. What does it mean? So a children node is added or removed. So that's what we can know here. So let me print the mutation also. So let's, we need to understand that right, which element was deleted or which element was added. So this is what we need to do. And the next part is I'm doing again one else if and mutation dot type. 
if that is equal to the attributes so i just want to segregate the things like if the child node is added or removed i want to do the things i want to get notified and you can write whatever the logic you want here and if the attribute values are modified so you are verifying whether the mutation type if the mutation type is attributes you will be getting into here if the mutation type is children node you'll be getting into here so if the attribute values are modified you will be coming here so you can log or you can do whatever the work you want here when the attributes were modified so let me just print here i'm consuming the things fine so this is what the callback function so now this observer method observe method will be watching the changes in this document dot document dot body with the help of this config object if any of the change was occurred this callback function would be triggered so that is what so let's add one div so let me do that here so i will take here a set timeout so i'm using a set timeout here set timeout and i'm writing a callback function and as a second parameter i will keep one second after one second i want to add one div okay fine for that constant i'm taking a div element okay div element and to this div element let's create one document dot create element so we are going to create a document dot create element a div element as yes, we have created a div element and we are assigning that div element in the html so just we are giving we are adding an div element to that let's add some text that you've internalized like a div element is added to dom okay this is what we are giving the text inside the div element what we need to do we need to append this document dot body dot append children so we need to append this div element so we are appending this div element it means we have created one div element assigning some text inside that div and we are adding that div to the dom document dot body so now this observe method would be watching the changes to this document dot body once after one second Okay, once our page was loaded and after one second, this would be executed. Okay, it means you are adding something to the DOM. So this code would be added. So it means this div would be added. Immediately once this div is added, this callback function would be executed for us. And as it is a new div, it means it's a children list was added. So that's the reason this console would be printed for us. So that is what here happened. So fine, now let's see here in the mutation record, we are trying to print the mutation record to understand what was deleted or what was added but it was not uh, showing here in the play code so let's inspect that and let's see that so i'm inspecting here and let's see in the console you can see in the mutation record it is showing that all the information the target element is body and the added notes what was added so if you click this so the thing was added is a div div was added inside the div information also you can get so this is how you can learn or you can detect or you can get notified any of the element was added or removed but the remote also the same code will be working here we need to discuss few points so here if you not mention any of the configuration then you will be getting a type error that's the first point we need to remember we need to mention at least some of the attributes there would be a number of configuration attributes for the mutation observer to know what type of changes it needs to observe, you need to mention them, at least one. If that is not mentioned, you'll be getting a type error. This is the first point. And the second point, when if you're trying to remove the node, the target node should not be the removal node. It should not be equal to the removing the DOM node. So it means the observer is observing one target node, one div. Assume it is observing one div. If you try to remove that div, then you will be getting an error. That's also we need to understand. These are the edge cases I'm trying to discuss. So once you are done with your job, okay, then you need to disconnect this observer. Observer dot disconnect. So this is what we need to do. Then this observer will stop watching the changes on this document dot body. So this is the overall uh, things, and also we have discussed about the edge cases as well. Hope you understand the video. And we have a number of videos like this related to the JavaScript, ReactJS, interview questions, coding challenges. A lot more stuff is available in the Rethinking UI channel. Please have a look at it. If you like the videos, please subscribe. Thanks.